you. I'm, I'm going to lose that. Anyway, it's good. <laughs> I don't think it's intrinsically rooted in race, but I think just the way the social genetic makeup of people are, I think just by way of people of specific races speaking a certain way or being perceived a certain way, it just it tends if to Minecraft? be no. more often than not rooted. In what, are you we ever, just using the latest release? Yeah, yeah. Oh, are you doing Bedrock or Java? Because if it's Java, I can read Let's do Java. All right. Um, you, I can just, I feel like I have a superpower where I can just like look at a person and I'm like, oh, okay, he has some sort of autism. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like it's mostly, uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I didn't know until you told me, so that is a camp. Did it all but make this, sense in the end once I told you? Yeah. Oh, Fuck off. Fentanyl and Benadryl <laughs> abuse. Okay, fentanyl and Benadryl. Benadryl's <laughs> to go to sleep because I have some. I have some actual like I'm digesting, and I don't take fentanyl. I do not actually <laughs> smoke fentanyl. I occasionally smoke weed and drink. That is two very different things. Leaked <laughs> fucking fentanyl. But Leaked, nah, bro. Telling me. <laughs> it's like whenever some people are like talking, they don't. They avoid eye contact. Like they're like looking away, and they like use their hands a lot, but they're not looking yeah. at you. Um, I I notice like they'll like they'll prep their hand before they actually like go and do something. Like they're yeah. gonna like it's like they're like they're constantly preparing the next conversation. Do you code switch? I did, but um, I don't want to anymore because I've like I feel like when I code switch, like I don't really know like the real like I don't know how I actually talk. Because like on Xbox, I mean, like some people just really don't like it when a party is silent. But I really don't care. Like I really, yeah. I think some people just like think that they're weird for not talking but um, I'm good but yeah i don't know it's just like i feel like part of it is just being yourself because i mean if you're meeting someone new and you code switch like it's just the, it's not once we are. start putting like so many labels on things it's like we humans do so many different things in their head or that we don't even notice all the time and you can put a label on everything for it but it's just what we do i think Code switching to an extent where you have to change your entire personality, I think, is different, though. I mean, like, I can change, like, the kind of conversations that I have, but, like, my entire personality, that'd be exhausting. Right. <laughs> Based off of, like, less eight seconds in bed. Black Look at a Minecraft. Yeah. I think most people have barriers they put up when they get introduced to a new group. I went on disagree instead of strongly disagree. Oh, is it done? Like, there have been situations where I, I just finished installing yeah. of someone of a different race. And like, okay. yeah, at first I'm pulled back, but once I get comfortable with them, those walls come down and then, yeah, that's where my true self comes up. For me, it really uh, depends because uh, I've been shooting music videos in the hood. So I really need to basically adopt myself to become a black person. So for me, it's not a problem like meeting new races. I always like vibe and chill with people. Do you think adapting yourself to those different ethnicity, ethnicities is like something that's required to um, foster like a successful relationship? Like I would say it's really more for your survival because you know like if you are the only white guy on like on set and like there's like people with like you move when you're moving between our subcultures my like ment oh, shit. mentality is kind of mixed because like from the age of like 13 i really started to to learn english from that i really learned a lot like i really got the american like mentality more and basically like my mentality is like mixed because like in uh, ukraine if uh, if we see a black person, we call them the N-word. Mm -hmm. And from our side, it's not... That's offensive. true, though. In, like, a lot of countries outside the U.S., like, racism is it's not as, like, sugar-coated. Like, nobody really, like, has nicknames for, for certain races. They just, like, sh say this, this straight up, like... Like, they see a black dude, they... Yeah, like, what this dude just said. He'll say the N-word. Uh... Like, especially in China, like, bro, don't go to China if you're black. Nah, there's this one uh, old vine. Let me see if I can find it. Really, <laughs> nigga? What the fuck? Anyways. 
we say it not from a offensive way, oh, but some people can because you know, like you don't see a black person there. I can understand that because I went to a school that was predominantly black <laughs> growing up, and when I first saw the first white kid, I was like, "What is that?" You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like it was a white girl with like red hair, and I was like, "Whoa, I've never seen this before." You know <laughs> yeah. So like I understand that like when a white person comes to a predominantly black, black group, then you're going to try your best to adapt to that, to our culture, to be like, okay, hey, I get along with you. This is my way of like telling you like, hey, this is, I'm like extending an olive branch basically. So, yeah. Personally, not to sound triggered, but I just don't like the notion oh, that brother. you're becoming a black person by pretending to be hood or no, adopting a hood mentality like because thing. not all black people are hood, not all black of people course. are ghetto. I understand what you're trying to say. Uh, yeah, like with Europeans or like non-Americans are trying to explain themselves. It's like, they're, I feel like they're too direct to where it sounds like racist. But like, I know what they're trying to say, but it's just, since they don't really like know the, the lingo or whatever, it's just, uh, yeah. And I don't know if it's a language barrier, so I don't wanna like come at you like you're saying something racist, but I just really am anti black people being defined as ghetto and hood, because there's a lot of classy black people out yes, there. Yes, there's a lot of intelligent, Afro Americans out there, and <laughs> it really like. Oh, it's Wilson. Oh, okay, okay, like, okay. Where you Here, I'm a Maju. Grew up in. Also, yeah. if you are hood and ghetto like me, you can also be all those things too. White people also experience race-based prejudice. I say yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent for Since sure. You guys probably don't know. I have it's lived okay. overseas. I've lived in Asian countries. <laughs> yeah, I kept uh, stuttering. I didn't know what I was trying to say. Stuff like that that you could walk into, you can see people dining in the restaurant, and they're gonna tell you they're closed, just because you're white or you're American. Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, if you're black, don't go to any Asian country, because they get intimidated by big, brawly, buff black men. <laughs> the fuck <laughs> so the idea that white people can't really experience racism kind of contradicts the very definition of the word um because the definition of racism is prejudice based on one skin color and i feel like bro this turns zesty <laughs> nah and i feel like um fuck i don't want this to be like a political stream but I mean, shit, we're watching Juvie, so what is there to expect? So basically, what I think, I feel like since uh, like the whole racism and slavery, black and black versus white, whatever, like today, I feel like white people just instantly just get hate just because they're white. It was really for any race, but like for this topic, um, like for white people, like like if you're white, you're just oh, you're racist, like. White people do experience it, but to a different degree. While I do think that yeah, what she said, and sisters in Christ can experience racial-based prejudice, I don't want to overlook the nuance of that prejudice because it's not necessarily rooted in anything systematic or anything that's going to actually have long-term effects, knock on wood, that are going to like Facts. debilitate a race or, or inhibit their chances or possibility of succeeding or being seen as better than POC. Oh, I fuck? definitely think it's a non-issue, racism towards white people, especially specifically, I wanna, like, in America, I don't think it's something that needs to be highlighted as an issue that is a constant threat to lives, day-to-day -day well-being, pro progress and success in life in general, because it's not something that's gonna inhibit you. Yeah, and you don't I hate cancel culture. Walk though. out your door and think, I'm about to be attacked. Because people abuse it way too much. Like, um, like when people dig up shit from like 10 years ago, um, like especially YouTubers, like that shit is just, this motherfucker's shirt infuriates me. Wait, whose shirt? Act like people of color do every single day. Mm -hmm. Like if it has nothing to do with you, why are you defending someone that isn't? Yeah, man, like. Shit is just. It's just like nobody, especially on. Look, bro, Twitter is crazy, especially on Twitter. Nobody can, like, mind their own business. Like, once they, like, find dirt on somebody, it's over. 
I do agree that white people haven't been put through centuries of hell like black people were, but prejudice towards white people 100% exists. Mm -hmm. Like whether it's in TV, if it's in movies, like if you watch predominantly black media, there's a lot of roasting towards white people that if it was the other way around, that would never be acceptable today. Then you go on social media like TikTok and you look up white people are bad. You will see videos where they're attacking white people for things that their ancestors did 200 years ago. There are societal benefits at this point for being a person of color and that no, I know I'm negatively ugly shirt. affect white people. Like if you look at affirmative action, diversity quotas in the workplace, all these- That's just as bad as I pause my game to be here. Black people, but then increase the <laughs> for white people. However, I think where some of the issue comes is because a lot of marginalized groups and people of color back in the day went through so much worse that it's easy for us to discredit the prejudice that white people now deal with today. I think like on an individualistic level, like yeah, white people get hate all the time. But I think if you zoom out and you look at the big picture, it's a little bit different. And like talking about like YouTube having, you know, racist content for anyone out there, it's like I would have to go and seek that out versus it like coming to me. Versus like on Twitter. Against white people? Yeah, I would have to like Oh shit, I was a paying attention with like talking about like YouTube having, you know, racist content for anyone out there. It's like I would have to go and seek that out versus it like coming to me. Versus like on Twitter. Against white people? Yeah, I would have to like look for a video of being like, oh, people who hate white people. I agree. Like versus like Twitter, I don't have to scroll very long before I see some person making some out of pocket comment about yeah. and regulation being lifted so people can see that even more so. Right. Absolutely, that's 100% right. And even saying affirmative action, statistically and on paper, white people, white women were benefiting more from affirmative action at colleges than any other demographic. So I also don't think that's fair to say, but I definitely get what you mean. And mm -hmm. again, I think it's the prejudice is still there, though. And I will say that black people do deal with prejudice. I think Use every demographic deals with prejudice. There are racist people everywhere. Like, I just don't think systemic racism is an issue anymore. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Society, yeah but I do think that there are racist people out there. I think that there's a really important distinction. Our language is constantly evolving, and you were talking about the definition of racism. Our societal definition has changed to include a systemic part of it. And I completely disagree with this idea that people of color don't have systemic things against them still. Because the fact that we still have the KKK, the fact that we still have these things, and they are in positions of- Damn! Power, as long as that exists- That's crazy, the KKK is still a thing. Hey, what happened to the Black Panthers? Oh shit, let me stop. This, and as long as that's a part of our country's like makeup right now, which it is, and that's our power structure, I don't feel like you can honestly deny systemic yeah that fucking i knew he was gonna do that shit is the, so different from racism the, I, I know i'm ugly experience racism in this country, <laughs> but we can experience prejudice just by the way he was talking and like he was like looking up and he was talking Being like this sexually unattracted to a race is racist no no i okay i say no because you can like certain features in someone but like what? You no, know, it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's just preference. Like, you, I prefer, uh, yeah, like, I prefer dark skins. I prefer light skins, blah, 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 blah. If you prefer dark skins, it doesn't mean you hate white people and you're racist to white people. If you like Asians, it doesn't, you know? It, it... Thanks. And it's just, yeah. <laughs> oh, she's I think stuttering. where the line gets drawn is when, if a white male- Oh, my white, gosh. He's just like- I don't like black that I know I'm ugly shirt dude is just picking the wrong lists. like all I the wrong that's options. Where the line gets drawn. But you what can't really help is when if a white male was sitting there swiping and he's just like, I don't like black girls, they're all ugly. They have too big a lips. I think that's where the line gets drawn. But you can't really help what you're attracted to. Like my fiance is Mexican and it's like I like him for who he is, not how he looks. I think that we are conditioned to um, be attracted and to respond to people that we grow, on, grow up and around with. So homogeneously, we grow up with people who look like us. So when you move into dating and things like that, statistically, you're going to be attracted to people that you grew up seeing, right? However, when you are discrediting um, a certain race for whatever reason based off their ethnicity, meaning everybody who did exist, is existing, and will exist from that race, you are not feeling anything. Q, I don't control <laughs> your body or your thoughts, but on one hand, I'm like, let's maybe unpack that. Also, where's my Yeah, that was kind of a weird all flex. Like, all right, bro, bio. we get it. That's none of our business. Stop Wait, doing what? that. Camera. What is he saying? I don't control your body or your thoughts, but on one hand, I'm like, let's maybe unpack that. Also, where's my camera? To all the girls that's putting this in their bios, that's none of our business. Stop doing that. Keep that to yourself. 
We don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear it. For bro, me, this fruit I cup is just... Like he's trying so hard to be different. Bro. You're only going to see the crazier extreme views more often because it gives reactions and interaction. Media wants money and it's... Yeah, oh my God, dude. There are so many times where I fall for actual rage bait on Twitter. Like, there's some times where I don't know if it's, like, bait or not. And then I, like, I bite down and I, like, respond to it because I'm bored as shit. And then I get my fucking DMs flooded. Like, ha ha, baited. Like, bro. Like, some people are just there to troll. But, like, with these people right here, you can just take a look and you can see which ones are just, like, not fun at parties. Or, like, they don't really have that many friends. <clears throat> and how we grew up, right? If you go to like South Africa, for instance, which within some of our lifetimes had apartheid, if you grow up in that, especially as a black person, where you're constantly being mistreated by every single white person, and you're conditioned to be like, white person, no thank you, I don't think that's racist. I agree, and I obviously, I'm, I did not grow up in South Africa with apartheid. Yeah. However, like I said, I the nickname extreme. of my town was Clancy. Like a lot of my interactions growing up were incredibly racist, and I'm dating a white guy. So I totally get what you mean. I don't want to discredit black people or anyone who's had those kind of situations because it's not that they're not dating white people. It's yeah. definitely, it's more like they're cautious. I think you used the perfect word earlier. Is it conditioned Ooh. or? Is it <laughs> I, I, I actually, I was thinking about it on the terms of me being a black woman. I feel like it's a lot different when it is a black woman going into dating someone that is not of their race. Um, I can tell you from my experience with dating Hispanic men, white, whatever. They only seem Jerry They're just, Springer I don't know, bro. Why did they had no reason to switch? So They're just trying to like be, they have a whole oh, different idea of what a black woman is. Like before my husband changed a lot, one of the comments made to me was he was afraid of me going to his house with braids in my hair. Because then they would assume that I was a different kind of girl instead of looking at me. I feel like these people are too cautious. I've been denied access because of my race. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, those people are too cautious. Like, it's better to live life just being yourself and, like, not really giving a fuck. Like, just doing what you do. Because if you're worried about, like, oh, how's my hair looking today? Or if I got braids in, blah, 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 blah. You need an uncensored version. <laughs> uh, nah, I'm gonna go on kick and I'm gonna say some crazy shit. Um... But nah, yeah, like if you're just going about just constantly worrying about how you look or or blah, 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 whatever, like you're going to end up like the dude with the I am, I know I'm ugly shirt and the the, the, the girl with the bucket hat. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, and just, I don't know, just be like lame. Like it's just, it's just lame activity. <laughs> That one girl's lashes are definitely weighing down them eyes. Wait, hold on. I wasn't peeping that. I can go anywhere. I can sit down anywhere. And I... And oh, I'm shit. Wait, what was the shit? I have been denied access because of my race. I can go anywhere. I can sit down anywhere. And I am not going to be denied because of how I look. And I would be ignorant to not admit that. And I'm gonna counter that with we are justifiably not let into spaces. And our whiteness takes away access to things like powwows. Because people will find any reason Hawaii, to call some races. Only for natives. Yeah, I can agree to that. Like, what's a good example? Um, I mean, shit, a good example would be what Wilson said, what Wilson just said in the chat. The, uh, Bro, the Jubilee vids are so good. Yeah, bro, it's free content, like, for real. like, Because they're so controversial, where it's just like, I could just sit here and talk all day. Um, but yeah, for example, uh, excerpt, what Gnome Cat said, that could be an example of just like, oh, he's being racist. But it's just like, you got to know the context. Like, he's saying the lashes are definitely weighing down the eyes. Like, if I was, like, I could think of both ways. Like, if I was... If I was her with the lashes, I'd be like, oh, you're being racist because it's a black blah, 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 blah. But I'm just like, he's just joking. It's just, yeah. Like the one middle schooler versus six high schoolers. Oh, shit. I haven't seen that one. What the fuck? 
um yeah there's yeah for sure yeah there's always two sides um and i feel like with some of these people they're not like looking at both sides like they're looking at both sides but they're not like like seeing why the other side says what they say um the box videos oh shit damn i might i might have to watch jubilee viz before i start playing games um but yeah like they they look at both sides but they still are like hard stuck on one side like they're not like why does the other t like you know what i'm saying like why does this group of people not agree with what i'm saying and like actually figuring out why but they're just like i know what i know but i'm just gonna say i know what you know because i think i'm smart i don't know it's it's kind of it's kind of just a weird like game but or for you like know what I mean. spaces for black communities or whatever else, we are justifiably denied yeah, access. They don't give a chance to skin. explain themselves. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's exactly that's what I was trying to say, but just sum down yeah. to like two seconds. Hawaii is still Thank you. Land. I believe that they have every right to be able to say only we're allowed to go here because that was theirs. It was literally stolen land that was stolen by white people. Yes. <laughs> no, but that's Wait. why it's yeah. justifiably it's still denied access. Yeah. But it is justifiable, hundred percent. Don't yeah, let me in. Yeah, it's denied access. What happened to Hawaii? What the fuck? But it's justifiable. But it's I know there's like, like fires and shit going over life. there. I could go anywhere. I can sit down anywhere. I can. They were talking about like white people taking over Hawaii. Go to the fuck? People Here, don't. I'm gonna rewind. Yes. <laughs> no, it's theirs. That they have. The thing about Hawaii though. Yeah. Hawaii is stolen land. I believe that they have. Hawaii is stolen land. What? I mean, yeah, it's it's stolen land, but I mean, shit, every land is stolen for real. Like, if you really think about it, everything is. Like, the U.S. with the natives and shit. That's that's really the, the only shit I know. But it's just like, she's, she's I don't know. The way she's talking is just making it sound like Hawaii is the only, like, piece of land that was stolen. Like, but Only we we're allowed to go here. Because that it. was theirs. You know, like, it was literally Africa and stolen shit. land that was stolen I heard the by whites white were killing people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's why yeah. it's justifiably, it's still denied access. Yeah. But it is justifiable. 100%. Don't yeah, let me in. Yeah, it's denied access, but it's justifiable. But it's yeah. like, in my own day-to-day -day life, I could go anywhere. I can sit down anywhere. I can go... What was she talking about Hawaii for? She's just talking. What the fuck? You can't be here. But like, in, in your day-to-day -day life, are you being denied access? Like, are you trying to go to that island? That no. they won't let you? Okay. Then I think that's a really good question. Like... Hawaii's whole ec economy, damn, I can't read it, is based around tourism. It makes the island way too expensive for natives to stay. Oh, oh, that makes sense. She's yapping. Yeah, like what? Okay, yeah. They're becoming a minority in their own. Oh, oh, yeah, damn. Yeah, get those tourists out of there, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? Honestly, I feel like, I feel like Japan is another one. Like, I noticed so many people want to travel to Japan. Oh, it's Mexico. Oh, yeah. And Mexico, too. Mexico and, like, Mexico, Cancun. Um, I don't know. Probably the Bahamas. Shit, I don't know. Old couples just fart about it. <laughs> you can say that for a lot of, uh, what's it called? Fuck, I got to turn my heater on my toilet cold. Um, like a lot of tourist spots. In, like, Costa Rica, yeah, happen. that's a good one. Um, just like any, yeah. just anything. I like, are you seeking yeah. those spaces then? Not necessarily. Oh wait, is Dubai's economy I'm bad? Aware that this is like, I thought it was hey, good. I thought shit was cheap us. there. Not or not? What? It was here. Turkey. I'm not gonna or, show up and be like, oh, no. yeah, but like. I'm a cool white person, but there are spaces that we are what not allowed. What the fuck? I think like, hey, I... this is for us, not for you. I'm not gonna show up and be like, yeah, but like, yeah. I'm a cool white person. But are they still talking about Hawaii? That we are not allowed, and I think that's okay. No, it is okay, but if you're not actively seeking to be part of those circles, you're not being denied access. Oh, definitely. Oh, okay, okay. I will agree. Yo, yo, what's up? Thousand pardons. You're a little delayed on the stream for me. I could, I was gonna, I just could not keep typing. I'm so sorry. Hold on. One second. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, 
Oh shit! Wait, your 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 profile picture is TOS. Oh <laughs> shit! Oh my god! I had it. Gracious. I had it full screen. You, no, oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Can you if you just, if oh, you just can you still stream on Discord at the same time? Because the stream is like two minute delay. Uh oh yeah 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 I can. Okay okay, because then I can start roasting these people. Yeah. Oh, do you want me to screen share the video? Yeah. The Jubilee vid. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm invested now. Okay. Is the lashes thing racist? Um, not yeah, okay. That, like even Mexicans and white people get it. I thought it was just like a wet up because it's like they're cheap and they're just really long and kind of like. Just change your profile. Interesting. Real quick. Oh my fault. Oh yeah, just... yeah. Change it to like a cat or something real quick. Um, okay, 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 okay. I mean, it's not racist like in the context that you were saying because I know you and I know it was a joke or whatever. But like, what if, if I was like that big flipped beast, oh something like that. God. That's some crazy shit. Okay, I forgot it's TOS. Sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, the, um, the like just the last shit. Lingo. It's it's yeah. not crazy. I was I don't know. I was just trying to find. It's like a point. A it's a point though. Yeah. 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 Throw me under the bus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Racist. Wait, does it update? Right, hold on. Oh, Sebastian Wait, messaged turn. me. He said my balls stink. First. What the fuck? What was his pro? Oh, his profile was uh, Peter Griffin, and. Uh, his his basketballs. He was looking back at it, and he had no pants on. False allegations. Um, I'm not sure. This I mean, allegedly, allegedly that was his. Allegedly. Profile. So, um, let me change it. Yeah. And I found. <laughs> <out there. laughs> he just said, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> I want to make it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, allegedly. It's not a cat, but it'll work. All right. Okay. All right, we should be good. Wait, wait. Oh shit! Wait, how do I go to the? Okay. Okay, man, that's better. What the fuck? What is, is that? A, what is it in his mouth? What is it in his mouth? I don't. I don't even know, bro. I don't. Even is know. that a rose toy? <laughs> uh. <laughs> bro. All right, man. Let's get back to man. Back fuck. to the video. What the fuck? Okay. He changed his profile picture to like a uncle with a rose toy in his mouth, bro. This dude is freaky. Sure, and I like, and I can say that maybe those are not the best examples, but like, I think especially because my social circles are predominantly people of color, there are definitely things where they're like, where I've had them be like, this is not a conversation for you. And I'm like, okay. I have had those experiences. I'm okay with them. I want to be clear. Like, I think there should be spaces that aren't for me, and that is okay. But they've existed and they've been. Yeah. How much longer do we have on? Like, they they just keep talking about Hawaii. Like, they keep bringing it up. One really specific example. Otherwise, I feel like in general, I'm not denied access because of my race, just in my experience. But I had an ex whose stepfather was wildly racist like nazi memorabilia like mm. just insane individual oh and i was never allowed over her house because yeah. of him and the one time that i kind of was okay. was the pussy that good because i feel like if i'm because <laughs> if i'm with uh like a girl or whatever and her parents are like extremists or whatever um like there's I don't know. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Like, I don't... <laughs> like, it could have been that good to where you... Bro. Yeah, I did. For sure, for sure. And he was staring at me through the window. And I'll never forget that yeah. in my life. The way that man was staring at me through the window and then cursed out his kids for having me in the house. That man's now in prison for doing God Something. knows what. <laughs> but uh, it's where he belongs. I was looking for funding for... Um... For my it has to be and busted. most of them are <laughs> for colored people and i totally understand that and there is like not many that i found that are for like everybody my mind would be like you know uh damn i cannot do it like i cannot apply to it but from the other side i understand that the black community like you guys need to get get your movies out there if anything i feel like i've what? been invited he's in prison for what i don't uh, from what he say, I guess he's in prison for being racist. I don't know. I feel like that whole story was just cap. I feel like he was just trying to say some shit. You know, I, I, I feel real. like I'm kind of like an undercover agent where yeah. I'm like, 
Like, because I talk a certain way or because yeah. I present myself a certain way. They Like, oh, I can say this in 100%. front of you. And I'm like, what do you say? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a exactly. token, you know, I've never, I've never really it. been. I, no, I'll say that too. I've been yeah. tokenized you got so Amen. many times. Um, why did he just do the same? Also, what videos? Wait, what? Wait, what did I miss? Oh shit! I was too busy. I was too busy swiping a card through her. Say this in front of you. And I'm like, what do you say? I'll say that too. I've been yeah. tokenized so Amen. many times. I'm like, I don't want like, that. We have right? to have here. We need young black representation. And yeah. I'm like, yes, I'm going to stay home. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they said something about getting more videos out there. Oh, yeah. The, the fucking. Uh, uh, um, Ukraine dude. Yeah, let's what let's listen to what this dude is saying because I miss understand everything. that and oh, sure. them are for colored people and I um, for my but uh it's where he belongs. I was looking for funding for um for my film and most of them Oh, are he makes movies, okay. People. And I totally understand that and there is like not many that I found that are for like everybody. My mind would be like, you know, uh, damn, I cannot do it. Like I cannot apply to it. But from the other side, I understand that the black community, like you guys need to get, get your movies out there. If anything, I feel like I've been- I, f I don't know. I feel like his but, accent is just You know, kinda... I, I- Um, I don't, maybe he makes like Tubi movies or something. Like those really shitty low quality, like black, um, movies. Um, yeah, I have, I don't know what he was trying to talk about. I, I feel real. like I'm kind of like an undercover agent where yeah. I'm like, like, because I talk a certain way or because yeah. I present myself a certain way. I've been eating like, this burger oh, for an hour, bro. I'm only halfway. Yep. And I'm like, what do you say? No, I'll say that too. I've been yeah. tokenized so Amen. many times. I'm like, I don't want like, that. We have to have you here. We need young black representation. And yeah. I'm like, yes, I'm gonna stay home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cold as shit. Um, <laughs> I don't. I will never understand when uh, black people are getting like tokenized. Like they're like the token black person where why they don't take advantage of it. Like they want to make a, a huge point. Like, I mean, I get it, but like if you fuck, it has to be like a super specific situation. But like if you're going to get like a really big or a good uh, like title or of a job or whatever, just because you're black, why not take advantage of it? Like, fuck, like, like, yeah. What the fuck? Dark Mexican 69. Black. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. I don't. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, Sebastian, we're watching a, um, a Jubilee vid. You can see the title. Um, please don't say nothing crazy uh, because I know how you are. But, yeah, like, if you're being tokenized, like, why not take advantage of it? Like people just don't like they don't take advantage of it just to be like, hey, I like they want to seem like they're like, I don't know. Like, it's just weird to me. Like, what? Just take advantage. Of it. Jubilee is such a goofy name. Most jobs require them to hire a minimum amount of minorities. Yeah, exactly. So like, like if that's happening, to, like if, if that was happening to me, like, like, fuck, I would definitely take advantage of it. <laughs> I am proud of my But to a certain extent because I have like you know three, two, like morals one. And I will go first. Why does she skip to no? Ten toes in. I was just being ironic. Yeah, some colleges are also. Okay, like, okay, I'm like, like, no, I cried a little bit. I'll I, I think that, like, and I'll just keep it specific to to my experience of what I know. As Black Americans, we're 
pretty much the top culture that gets replicated, mm -hmm. referenced. People scoot in and scoot out because they want to seem cool and interesting and stuff. And I think that that's so kind of us to like. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't know why it just was randomly so loud. So <laughs> and be kind of separated from our African roots. Create names for ourselves, culture, language around our identities as black Americans and have that be a thing that's just reverberating across the country. Oh, I guess there's just that one section and maybe their audio messed up. Can never be replicated, can never be understated, and um, I love that about us. That was kind of the start of my <coughs> thought process too, like just the basis of being- Man, I don't give a fuck. I want to know why these, why this white bitch skipped to the no. I want to know why she's not proud. This is such a- Come on. I don't give a fuck. Oh wait, hold on. He's the only so white dude who, who is proud of himself. That. Everybody needs to be proud of their race and stop this like racist bro. Yo, Sebastian. Because, like, you Hold could on, be bro. Green. Why are there so many white people that I know? Like, I think all the white people went to know except for one, uh, which is very interesting to me. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll deal with it later. <laughs> Hold up. Okay. White, Hispanic, like, it doesn't matter. I agree with, like, what you're saying because... Oh, like, I was talking to, uh, is that to Nomi Cat. I was trying to model. We that we're all just people. We're not a skin tone. But because of those before me, I now have to fight back against the idea that all white people are racist. I remember being in fourth grade and learning about the Holocaust for the first time and saying, I don't want to be German anymore. Meanwhile, my mother's whole family is German. American history, you look at things like slavery. Oh. Things like um, Jim Crow laws, segregation. There is so much awful stuff. Wait, is German a race or ethnicity? I never, I'm going to be honest. I never really knew the difference. What's the difference between ethnicity and, and race? Ethnicity, okay. Wait, so why did she say no? Fuck. I can explain. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Yo. Yo For a thousand it. pardons, so sorry, hold on. Uh, so ethnicity, how can I explain this? So Europe has so many different ethnic groups. They have like 30 or like 60. There's like 12 of them that are just in England alone. And the best way I can explain it is most of ethnicities in Europe are divided in like three parts. There's like people that are like have Nordic descent, there's people who are Germanic, they're Central European, and then there's Eastern European. Eastern European is Slavic, and Slavic is connected to somewhat Asians because they run the Asian border of Eurasia. Okay. But here's what you need to know, bottom line, the only reason African Americans really don't know what their ethnicity is and only really know what their race is is because they were brought over here and didn't have like their fucking tribe tattooed on them, so they don't know. So I feel like that's ethnicity is much more important in Europe because it's still prominent. That's all I just say. <laughs> I forgot that was your banner, bro. What the fuck? My game is. <laughs> bro, my bad. <laughs> the fuck. All right. Hey, I'm a. Uh, once I finish this video, we'll hop on Minecraft. All right, bet. Hey, actually, hold up. I don't know if that's too. Yeah. It <laughs> I think I showed it on the screen for too long. I might have to private the VOD, but I'll still upload it on YouTube. Yo, um, is your Twitch account uh suspicious? Because I tried to mod you, but it was like I couldn't. I got flagged as a terrorist account last year okay. on Twitch and on Discord. Okay, you don't have, actually... you don't have to say anymore. You don't have to talk. Anymore. I'm good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, I don't. Oh, brother. Okay. Getting in closeted ways that I cannot be proud of the way that I look. Wasn't there like a bug or something? Okay, like, where like I you could get your Discord account reported as a terrorist? Like who I grew up to be. Like I like who I am. But like, if I were to say I'm a proud white man, like I don't even know what that means. Like, there are, there are mm, that's true that does sound very like like um like you're trying to sound like weird you know like compared to say i'm a proud black man like oh good for you but i'm a proud white man it's like whoa okay I, we get it we get it. um what's it called but yeah hurdles in my life it just it sounds weird so i kind of agree with what he's saying right now 
I've had to go through shit to get to where I would I just am beef. Now. And I would just beef with people for fun. Got flagged too many times from false reports. You know, even to that oh, point, so brother. Yeah, it's just different in other people's eyes. Much of queer Effects. culture comes from black culture, so mm -hmm. thank you. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. I want to be proud of. Wait, what? And you know, even to that point, so much of queer culture comes from black culture, so mm -hmm. thank you. Um, You're welcome. I mean, that's true, but yo, why did this? Why did she have to do that? Um, yeah, you, like, why do gay white people? Talk like um, I don't want to say talk like black people. What's the what's the word? There's a, or like an acronym. What is it? Um, it's like a something. A A V E. Yeah. Why do black or gay people, gay white people, always talk like uh, black women? Like I never like what? Just speak regular. <laughs> I think I only met one gay person who spoke like a normal human being and like with his own accent. Cause you know, like so many gay people talk like that. <laughs> I want to be proud of the things uh, done, the people who I've touched, whose hearts I've opened up. I feel like it's beyond our race. I feel like what it is, is our experiences that make our light shine through. So that's what I'm most proud of actually, yeah. I think that there's a really big difference between being proud to be black and being proud to be white. So being proud of your culture, beautiful thing, like being proud to be Ukrainian. I'm proud to be Slavic. The black community is different and the reason it's different is because their culture, specifically black Americans, their culture was stripped, like, stripped away from <laughs> Nah, bro, I'm canceling people. you for that. So I feel the fed of gay people. The culture became being black American. You're like the race became <laughs> cultural. I mixed that up. So Sorry it's, about no, the hate. Yeah. But like, yeah. so I think mm. there's a really big difference between like, I am proud of my people, my people are Slavic, versus I am proud of my race. It just gets convoluted because black Americans yeah. and racist become the culture. Because I'm so gay. Yeah, you're banned. Yeah, you're banned. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Wait, it deleted all the messages. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I feel like this is too controversial for Twitch either way. Free me. Yeah, hashtag free. Hashtag, actually, no. Yeah, you're getting promo banned. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, shit. If Hassan can do it. Wait, no. Is Hassan on, on kick? Because if he's on kick, then I'm cooked. Like, I got to private everything. But shit, if Hassan can talk about some crazier shit than what I'm doing, hey, the fuck? Twitch ban me is racist. Ah, oh, shit. Now I sound like this bucket hat. Bucket hat. Fat. Oh. Bu Let me start talking. I think you don't kick. Yeah, okay. I'm cooked. Um. The culture was stripped away. I also think oftentimes when you talk about white pride versus black pride, oftentimes mm. black pride is rooted in like love and like perseverance of like Culture, mm -hmm. customs, language, and things like that, and white pride is often rooted in like <laughs> yeah, the Levi, hate, Latin <laughs> hate, Asian Facts. hate. So I think that's like uh, an interesting uh, nuance to not <laughs> overlook. No, and it's I think that's such an important point. I think there's a difference between like I'm proud and therefore I'm better versus I am proud of what we have overcome. Yeah, and then the whole idea of white pride started with people who think the Confederate flag is personality trait. I'm so, so a cute. How can bro. I be proud of that? Yeah, a cute. Yeah. A cute. <laughs> this motherfucker pulled out a protractor emote. I didn't know that that was even a thing. What the fuck? I'm on my concave grind right now. Yeah, okay. I almost pressed the ban button, but you know what? We got it.
but I meet a lot of white people, particularly white liberals, who will actively say that they're ashamed of being white, and that is wild to me, because how can you- Oh shit, what? I'm not saying that this applies to any of you, but I meet a lot of white people, particularly white liberals, who will actively say that they're ashamed of being white, and that is wild to me, because how can you look at your past, and because, yes, your race did terrible things in the past, but you shouldn't define yourself as that. If anything, you should look at that and reflect. So do you think white people should be proud to be specifically white? See, so I think ate a lot really of white <laughs> nuanced question when you're white because I think 24 7 point of 24 7 gooning in this call right now. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, eat that time out. Ethnicity is different because, like, white isn't a collective culture <laughs> the way that black is because black people have been grouped together and have a similar experience. But, like, white, like, Italian American, you should definitely be proud of being Italian American. You should be proud of being <laughs> You should be proud of your lineage. But just to say, oh, I'm proud to be white, like, yeah, that has a weird connotation to it because it's not a collective culture. But what I really want to emphasize is that you should not be ashamed of being white in the way that a lot of people are. Mm. Yes. Or maybe you should. Okay. okay. <laughs> you At that point, it's on you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a good Jubilee vid. Like, I I think I've only ever watched a Jubilee vid, like, once before. What's so funny? Oh, I timed out. I timed, uh, I timed out Nomi Cat. Because he said he was gooning in the chat. Like, what? Or he he's in the Discord call and he was gooning. Nah, they could have found more straight people. Yeah, I feel like, or like the clips of Jubilee that I do see, it's just like a bunch of gay people. That would have been more uncensored. Yeah, facts. Like, fuck, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get banned after this. But I feel like, gay people are like. It's either one or the other. They either don't give a single fuck and they do literally whatever they want to do or they're like closed off and super like self-conscious. Like delete bot. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing it after the stream like what up? Wait, can I do it right now? Or shit. Or like super extreme. Yeah. I mean shit. Oh fuck. Um, but yeah, that was a good vid. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yo, yo, Wilson. It's like two minutes behind. Sorry. So I have to like, w I was still on the stream. Let me get out of this really quick. Okay. Okay. All right. Wait, are you still Bro, timed out? Video was actually... Yes, I'm still timed out with that. <laughs> what I do wrong? <laughs> All right, Minecraft time. Oh shit, I didn't install it. Fuck. Oh, you're have... good, bro. You're awesome at this game. <laughs> what the fuck? Good. No, I do. That Jubilee videos are so like hit or miss sometimes. I don't know. Sometimes they get some crazy motherfuckers in there. Yeah. They need to get some like crazy out of product people. Bro has a I big see, mouth. Like, someone that just. Bro. My mouth isn't that big. What the fuck? <laughs> nah, if anything, I got a big chin. Holy shit, yo, look at this shit. Especially when I smile. Like my shit poking. Oh my god. <laughs> Do I have the Minecraft launcher? Yo, turn this shit off. Wait, how do you how do you download Java? Oh the launcher. Oh shit, I'm slow. I mean the one on this profile. Oh, oh yeah, because he's sticking the whole rose toy in his mouth. I mean, they're not that big. Oh shit, it's actually, actually no, yeah, his, his shit is like, ah, his shit is wide open. Open that shit. My gaming setup. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've had that for so long. I need to find. Oh, I gotta update the launcher, bro. What the fuck? Oh, wait, let me switch this shit. Yeah, you should watch one of those like six fake rappers and one real rapper vids. Yeah, I'll I'll actually I'm gonna do it uh, while Minecraft is downloading. 